39, this is a math question. A sales representative of appliance company is given 20% of the total sales she makes every week. What are her, what are her earnings if her sale totals to 67,850? Okay, I will give you a few minutes to answer this. <laughs> Anong sabi? Hala, B sagot. Damay damay na lang. Okay, that's 20%. Now, in math po, pag nakita nyo itong term na of, that means multiply, okay? So when you, whenever you see the, the term of in math, that means you need to multiply. So very easy. We only need to multiply uh, to get the 20% of 67,850. So we just multiply 20% by 67,850. Or we write this, uh, we convert this in its decimal form. Alam naman po siguro ninyo kung paano mag-convert nito. In decimal form, you simply move the decimal point from the right twice going to the left so that would be 0.2 okay so we just multiply 67850 by 0.2 okay so your answer would be 13570 that would be letter b okay so letter b is the correct answer okay so letter b is the correct answer b po ang ating tamang sagot that's 13570 okay we're down to our last question for gen ed Okay, this is still math. And daming math questions in this set, no? So number 50, if in one section, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 3. If there are 42 students in a class, how many are girls? Okay, pag may 42 students sa class, eh, how many are girls? Okay, now how do we solve this? All right, so again, you are given four boys is to three girls, okay? For four boys, there would be three girls. What you do is you get the total ratio. How do you get the total ratio? You add lamang po itong ratio natin na four is to three, okay? So four is to three, that gives us seven, okay? So that's the total ratio. Now, yung mangyayari, i-divide natin yung total quantity by the total ratio to get each part. Okay, your total quantity here is 42. We are going to divide that by our total ratio of 7 para makuha natin yung kada part. Okay, so we divide 42 by 7 which give us 6. Okay, so that means kada part ay 6. So that means now para makuha mo kung ilan yung boys at ilan yung girls, multiply mo lamang yung um, proportion na nandyan, yung ratio na nandyan. Okay, so for the girls, we are asked for the girls now, so we are asked how many are girls. We simply multiply 3, which is given in our ratio, by 6, which is for each part. So 3 times 6, very easy, your answer would be 18. Okay, so 18 girls. So again, just add your ratio to get the total ratio. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Then divide the total quantity by the total ratio. So 42 divided by 7, that gives us 6. Okay, then multiply this ratio here by each part. So 3 times 6, that's 18. Now, if the question is how many boys are there, then you are going to multiply 4 by 6. Okay, in that case, there are going to be... 24 boys okay so 24 boys so if you are going to check 24 plus 18 that would give us 42 so that means tama ang ating sagot